Lexi's moving into second grade. Allie, what grade are you moving into? Is this yours? Fourth. Moving into fourth grade. Are you sure you're old enough to do that? You think so? Yes. We'll I'm see. Eight. Zoe, what grade are you moving into? First. First grade. <laughs> got a random urge and decided since the school year is almost over and I'm trying to prepare and order everything for the next school year that I would go ahead and just go through all the school, put everything away, label everything, like restock basically everything I'm out of, like craft supplies and stuff like that. No judgment, I'm gonna show you, but no judgment, okay? It is what it is, I have five kids, a newborn. Um, so, most days are no makeup, and this is today. Quite the tornado, so. All of this is going through co-op, the rest of the end of this co-op year, and like going through all of their bags, and putting everything out, and restocking those, and then a bunch of bills that I am trying to sort through. And we're just like organizing basically everything down here. But this is the current situation in the schoolroom. So all the girls have been in here helping me. We're trying to rearrange desks to get an extra desk for Macy. Oh yeah, it's, Allie, what do you think? Is it mm -hmm. um, so fun? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Allie, hmm? I can't see you. What do you think? Fun. Oh yeah? Is that what you were saying five minutes ago? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking not. Five minutes ago she was like, Mom, this is so much work. Uh, anyway, um, we are trying to just put everything back together. Get the old school year out, put in all the new school year supplies and stuff, and it's just so much stuff to sort through because obviously they do so much art to crafts in school and all that type of stuff, so I have to have all this extra. Allie said she has the most cool. But I have like so many like different arts and crafts. I'll show you my drawers. Allie, can you pull out the drawers so that we can see the arts and crafts stuff mm. over here? Okay, we have these buckets under here that are like arts and crafts like supplies to make things um, like just extra. And then there's another one over there. We also have like buckets here that have crayons and pencils and then in there there's like all sorts of other craft stuff but then here I have like a filing drawer with like extra like paper sorry I can't do this like one-handed so I'm doing it with my foot um, but like labeled with like tape and all this extra just like stuff for different like arts and crafts and things like that, that they have to do throughout the year so yeah it's something else. So, we're obviously taking breaks in between everything, you know, to eat and then like feed the baby boy, play with Mia, who we just got groomed. Look at Mia, she looks so different. Mia, Mia, why do you look so different, girl? Hey, why do you look so different? <laughs> Mia, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Lexi, what do you think about us refreshing everything? I love it. You do? Uh huh. Then how come you're not in there helping Allie if you love it? Well, not in the school bedroom, but I do like feeding Red Buddy. Oh, you were helping feed Red? Uh huh. Zoe, what are you helping do? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Do you want to go help Allie? I want to help Mia. Oh, you <laughs> be the Mia watcher? Okay. It takes all kinds. Macy, are you gonna take care of the baby then? Yeah. So I can go help Allie finish up in there? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
Wish us luck, we're gonna need it. It's some journey, a fun one at that, but sometimes a little bit overwhelming. So I just have to get everything done and put behind me so that we can reset for the next year. So anyway, I'm sure all you moms are doing the same, creating lists and school things and all that type of stuff. So if you have any tips for organization or creating or a list that you think that are must-haves that make life easier, feel free to comment that below. Lexi's entertaining the baby. Oh, and feeding the baby. I think he liked when you just talked to him, Lexi. I think he was happy. Hey, buddy. Red, do you like being entertained by Lexi? Yeah. He wonders why your camera is. Oh yeah, he's saying hi. That's what he's doing. Let's go see what Macy's doing. He doesn't know what a camera is actually. He doesn't? Well, he's cute. Oh no. More messes. Oh no. Oh no. You're making more messes. Why? What are you doing? Oh, this is Lexi's new school year. Lexi's moving into second grade. Allie, what grade are you moving into? Is this yours? Fourth. Moving into fourth grade. Are you sure you're old enough to do that? You think so? Yes. We'll I'm see. Eight. Zoe, what grade are you moving into? First. First grade? <laughs> That's amazing. And Macy is moving. Is going. Yeah. She's going to be doing these books that I got from Rebecca. And then she is going to be doing the preschool prep letters and videos for like letters, shapes, colors, letter sounds. Sight words. Yep, so that's what she's gonna do. And this is her desk and my desk combined. And then Zoe's, Lexi's, Allie's, and then John took over my other desk and this is now his work desk, so. Oh well, I lost that battle. Can you video my screen? Video your screen? Okay, there's your screen. What do you want to say about it? It's so big. <laughs> oh, look at this crap. Yeah. That's she made that out of Play-Doh. Yeah, that's from school. It's All right, we got to keep working. Okay, just a random tip for you. I do this at the beginning of the school year when they get all of their um, workbooks in. I label them because I keep all of their school records. So I put their name with their school book and then the school year that it will be so that when I have like everything stored in tubs and everything and I need to look back or I want to see like who is did what, I can easily go and find every person's book and then the school year that was completed. So I recommend just sharpening all of that. And then I also keep a school calendar. I keep a school calendar that I always have for the whole school year and I circle every day that we do school and then I mark through every day that we do not do school and I usually like write a description of what we did and what we didn't do. And I also have all of those stored in with all of their school supplies so that I have everything pre-labeled, all of their workbooks, all of the school calendar years, and then I keep separate buckets. It's a lot to store, I know. I also keep separate buckets um, in the garage with all of their arts and crafts that they have done over the years and then um, all of like the younger grades of school stuff and then even like Allie like had school, different arts and crafts. And then that also will be all of their like co-op arts and crafts and things that they did at co-op. I also keep in bins and I label those the same. I write on those like school homework, arts and crafts, and then I label that as well like the school year through the school year. Um, that's completed, so just a tip for any of you moms that are homeschooling and are trying to better organize, that's my best tip for you. Still working, but at least the floor is somewhat picked up. And the desks are semi put back together. All of their school year stuff organized out, the end of the school year now, that they have to complete, and then mail all of these back, the current school year, and then all of this 
is the new school year and then all of this is stuff that I'm packing for co-op for the new school year. So anyway, at least you can walk around now. First up, I have no voice. Well, I have a voice, but it sounds terrible. So that's okay. It sounds sorry cool. in advance. Deep. Um, I had a cold. I don't know a few days ago, and just the drainage made me lose my voice for some reason. So it is what it is. But in good news, today we are finally doing what you guys asked for the last three months. Listen, it takes five. <laughs> and it takes a lot of work to get five kids together. It does. But we're finally going to shoot a new YouTube intro, which is fun because Rhett has not been in one. So, yeah. It took us three months, but we're getting around to it. So, that's a win. Never fails. Every time that we all get ready, <laughs> we plan, we go to do these intros. Every single time that we have done one, a random storm has appeared and it's either raining or about to rain every time we've done one. So, hoping it doesn't do that this time. It's rain clouds, it's calling for rain, it's calling for thunderstorms. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna do what we got, we're, we're gonna do. We're used to it by now, we we'll just do it. He is shooting our intro, yep. so on his handy camera. We actually have someone doing it for us, so hopefully that means we go faster and we beat the rain, and yeah, we'll do a, a few little behind the scenes clips for you guys, and hopefully you love our new intro. Picture, right? 